three games into this season. Just how would you evaluate the receivers and, and just what you guys have been able to do at this point in the year? I'll say our receivers are we're in a good place. We've made some plays on the perimeter and helped our team uh, when we needed plays. So I feel like we've came a, a long way and we still got uh, ways to improve. So I'm looking forward to what's in the future and what's to come. So. A struggle some performance last week with the Kansas City. What would you guys have pointed to as like maybe the primary area of concern as a wide receiver? For you? Say, say it again. What would you point to as an area of concern or something you guys were trying to address this last week after that Kentucky performance as a receiver? Mm -hmm. I'd probably say um, blocking on the perimeter. Uh, we didn't know it was no one of our best games blocking the perimeter, and Coach made a big emphasis on um, like progressing towards the game and. We got in the game, they were just like hopping around blocks and things like that. So just trying to stay sane and move on to the next play and attack it like we would any other play. I mean, I'm trying to, everybody getting this question uh, about facing Alabama, is it strange to face them without Nick Saban on the other sideline? Um, I'd probably say no, because they're just like any other team. Uh, they have a, obviously a new culture, I'm sure. not a new culture, but a new head coach. So I'm sure you change a few things, but it's still the same Alabama team we've played in the past or any other team we've played, so. And I read a quote from their defensive coordinator said in the last two games they've gone man like a hundred and something times. Is that the matchup you kind of relish? Just like it's your guy versus me, man, that just better man wins? I'd probably say yes. Um, I love playing against man because it gives me opportunity to go against just one other person and it's who's going to come out on top, so it's are we better than them? Um, this is that's a play. That's a coverage that we can show that. So I love man, the man coverage. So I'm looking forward to that. Aaron, getting ready to play Alabama. Do you go back and look at that game from December? I mean, is that a motivator? How do you kind of you know address that game in December? Getting ready for this? Um, yeah, I go back and look at the score and just move on and look at their games they played this season. So because that's the team we're going to play, not that team. So of course that game is still like. Makes a, makes me feel a certain way, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing them. So excited! Yeah, I'm sure you match up against the players all the time. But what has Traveris Robinson brought to this program? Um, i will say he's brought um, a lot of wisdom. Um, he's a good coach. He coached with Coach Bruce Campbell at South Carolina, so obviously he knows what he's doing, and what he's talking about. So can't really say because I'm on the offensive side of the ball, and he, he's a defensive coach. So I mean, I love Coach T. Rob. He talks to me every day, even though he doesn't coach me. Arena. Probably say yes. I think about him, or I could have like got more. But I'm grateful for catching the ball because it's, it's not that easy getting to that point. So uh, yeah, I look back on it, but I try to look in the future and get excited for the things that are to come. So I'm excited for this weekend and what I can do in that game. Yeah, I was gonna follow up. I don't know what, what could you have done different. Man, looks like you were playing right under. Uh, I don't know what I could have done different. If you go back and look, I was like falling. So. If I could stay up, I definitely think I could have had a chance to score. So, yeah, Aaron, over here to your right. A lot of the analysis from us has been about deep shots. Got to get better at deep shots. Be more consistent. I'm sure it's something you've heard inside the book. How does one go about getting better at that area? How do you become more consistent in hitting those deep shots? I probably say getting better at the ring game uh, because obviously you got to run the ball to throw the ball. So if I can get better at blocking and things like that, I'll be able to beat them on the man-to-man coverage when you think of coming up the block and not run past them. So I'll probably say just catching more deep balls, of course, but just doing the things you do today to day and get better at that and everything will take care of itself. So. Barry, right here. Um, just how much of a challenge is it to balance the, you know, week to week, every game's individual process that Coach talked about, but knowing that Alabama's going to be on schedule week four. Just, you guys are so laser focused, but I mean, is it ever a, we're thinking a little bit extra about what's to come or, you know, extra sense of motivation with a game like that? Um, yes, we definitely have like a chip on our shoulder because we're obviously another good team just like they are. So people can say what they say about the game and predictions. And so just trying to let that bother us and play the game like we do any other game and 
coach tells us we don't got to do anything else different to win the game that we do at practice. So just take what I do at practice and take it to Saturday. Hearing you guys have had a couple of slow starts on offense this year, how much does that get talked about among you guys on offense? Um, it gets talked about every day. Um, every day we take the field, we make sure we're doing the details right and just making sure we're doing everything we can to put ourselves in the best position to win the game. Of course, we want to start fast every game, but every game doesn't go like that. So just try to move on from that and play the next play, and hopefully we can start fast on the next play. Refresh my memory. Did you travel to Scalusa in 2020 to the freshman year? No, I was hurt. I didn't get a chance to, but I definitely remember watching the game, and it was hard to watch. Wish I was there. And I think the environment will be a Oh, yeah. It was a cool environment, man. It's tough not being there and be able to play in that stadium. So I'm looking forward to playing in my first time this upcoming weekend. Curious how much you watch other wide receivers. What you did you see Ryan Williams and kind of as a younger guy? What would you make of him? Oh yeah, I find that's crazy, man. I've never seen no kid like that. He's gonna be a good receiver in this league. So just seeing him do that at young ages just blows my mind. Honestly, he's gonna be really good. So it'll be great playing against him. I hope our guys get go out there and do what they gotta do. So yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Thanks Aaron. Thank you.